First, I want to congratulate Seoul for his fifth anniversary of his new brand, which is an excellent brand and a wonderful occasion to speak about the future of a city and the future of the world as well. A good city is a city that can uh, be younger and younger by finding ways to become younger. And your brand is a very subtle one, which demonstrates that uh, uh, Seoul loves people and that people love Seoul. It's a symbol that demonstrates, it's a brand that demonstrates the capacity of Seoul to uh, be a democratic city because it has been uh, chosen by a very large and thorough consultation. And uh, it has been established with a lot of um, thinking because it has many, many uh, sophisticated uh, dimension and uh, significations and meanings. Congratulations for this brand and for the future of it, which is very strong. Uh, Seoul is also uh, more than a brand. It's one of the most important cities in the world, and it has been recognized as uh, the number one in many dimensions, mainly in its capacity to be a digital city in all dimensions of digital, meaning uh, digital for health, uh, education, uh, transportation, uh, capacity for cities, for companies to work in it. And then Seoul is at the front of many other dimensions of uh, uh, a welcoming city. Seoul is also one of the top cities in the world for receiving foreigners, for receiving tourists, and for receiving uh, congress and events from people coming around the world. And Seoul has also been, and it is a demonstration of its capacity, uh, very resilient to the COVID, maybe more than anyone else in the world, even if from case to case there are some problems, in that unfortunately you suffer some de deaths, and I must convey to you my condolences for it. But Seoul has been the number one in the world <coughs> in uh, tackling this uh, issue with a demonstration that it has a lot of hygiene, a lot of uh, health capacities, a lot of mask tracing and testing capacities which are available and where citizens are um, uh, used to uh, accept it. Why do they do that? Because there is a very real consensus in this city as well as in the country on what is good for the city and good for the future. Uh, the COVID demonstrates that a good city is a city which is preparing for the uh, well-being not only of citizens of today, but of citizens of tomorrow. It's what I call a positive society or a positive city. What is a positive city? Uh, a positive city is a city which is working in the interest of people that will live in this city in 20 or 30 years, uh, in four dimensions, economic, social, ecological, and democratic. And Seoul is a number one and pioneer in that. Seoul is a pioneer in helping the preparation of jobs for 30 years ahead of us by creating new technologies, by creating everything which is good for receiving smart, smart cities, small and new companies, either foreign companies or domestic companies that will be created and will find good environment to work with. Therefore, it's one of the best cities in the world to prepare jobs for the generation to come. It's also very good to prepare the future for the next generation to come economically by having a large and high quality level of education for its citizens and people coming to study in Seoul. It's also a positive city because it's preparing people to be socially more um, resilient. Uh, and it could be also improved when it is needed in order to have all people coming from different groups, different social classes, uh, able to live there. A positive city is a city where people in 30 years from now can find uh, affordable uh, flat, can find affordable public services, and can live together uh, and share amenities with people richer or poorer than them. A positive city is also a city that is uh, uh, ecologically sustainable, and Seoul is in the good direction in doing that, because Seoul is uh, one of the leading cities in terms of parks, clean water, clean energy, hygiene, health, uh, public transportation, 
reduction of numbers of cars in the future, development of electric cars, development of uh, auto um, uh, independent cars that will be able to, to, to uh, be totally managed without any, any kind of driver. And that leads to a very sustainable city in the future ecologically, even if ecology and the climate change is not uh, a problem only for one city, but for the whole world as a whole. And uh, uh, Seoul is also sustainable in the fourth dimension of positivity, which is uh, governance. Because in, uh, for a city to be, uh, to be positive means to be uh, able to fight uh, strongly uh, for the benefit of minorities, for the benefits of weak people, in order to have more women in the decision body, more people coming from minorities in the decision body, to have a strong fight against corruption, and to have transparent mechanism of uh, governance in the city. And I think the demonstration has been made by the way that the city has decided to create its own uh, brand, that it is possible for Seoul to be uh, sustainable in those four dimensions. It's also clear that uh, uh, as a whole, Seoul is a city that has been able to uh, demonstrate that it is uh, positive uh, with its brand, which has developed a visibility for Seoul around the world. If I may add things that could be added to this example and this uh, exemplarity of Seoul, I would have different things that Seoul can do better in order to be more and more uh, a city of the 21st century. First, uh, Seoul is a city that should develop more and more its relations with the rest of the world. And in the future, the relation with the rest of the world will go more and more with uh, connectivity, either by a port, uh, and it's why it's so important in my view that Seoul develop its relation with uh, uh, Korean ports, uh, by train, um, by uh, highways, by all means, by airports. It's important to develop relations of Seoul with the different ports, because the ports are the key for the future. And if Korea wants to stay one of the leading countries in the world, it has to keep being, having one of the most important harbor for goods and services in the world, which is the case today, and to have a link between its capital cities and the main ports uh, in, in the country. This link and this infrastructure are fundamental. Second, the city has to become more and more uh, digital in the uh, future in order to develop even new services for the uh, citizens. Uh, uh, using the technology of the future, I would mean that we need to, the, uh, there is a place for Seoul to develop the use of uh, AI, not only to monitor uh, the uh, uh, risks linked to uh, uh, pandemics or links to security issues, but AI for the services of citizens. Citizens should found through AI good public services, very well adapted to them, tailor-made to them, and not only to monitor them, but to help them to be more uh, efficient uh, and more uh, convenient for them. AI can be a, an instrument of monitoring, but it can be also an instrument of freedom if it's well used and uh, uh, Seoul can be a place to do that. Uh, other new technologies are coming, which are going to be very important in the future, and I do believe that it will be up to Seoul to use them uh, to develop what they could uh, do for their development. First, I think that <coughs> uh, biomimicry, which is a fact of imitating, imitating the nature, uh, is uh, one of the most important technologies in the future. <clears throat> and I do believe that it is in the interest of Seoul to develop a <coughs> capacity to train, develop technology into that, uh, which are used, for instance, uh, uh, it's through biomimicry that has been found the best way to, have optimize, to optimize the uh, uh, ways to go through a city and to avoid uh, traffic jams by imitating the... Uh, uh, way of maneuvering of ants uh, in the in their uh, uh, in their uh, uh, trips, and then my biomimicry is a fundamental technology for the future, and I do believe that is something that Seoul can develop and should develop in in, in the future. Uh, 
Seoul can also be a, a leader in the technology of the future, which are um, linked to environment. Uh, I, I would say that bio agriculture, uh, gardens in the city, uh, preparing of food uh, in gardens on the rooftops, uh, garden on walls, um, vegetables in the buildings, all the development of a, a green city producing his own vegetables, uh, which is already beginning, but can be much more developed by developing a new way of thinking the city through uh, other kind of relations with the environment and with the surrounding uh, countryside. It is clear that in this moment, uh, people are going to look at uh, living in many countries outside of cities because of COVID. After all, uh, the technologies uh, allow people to work from remote places and they don't need to live uh, in a city. They can live from outside and some many people will be uh, having uh, the, the, the desire to, to move to the countryside and to work a distance and come to a city Rarely. It's why all cities, even the best city in the world, such as uh, Seoul, is threatened by the danger of seeing people quitting the city in order to live abroad or away in the countryside and come in the city only uh, when needed. Uh, we, we have seen already that uh, Seoul has not kept uh, all its population, but uh, the population which is declining and can lose uh, its vitality. It's a threat that all cities are going to face. And in order to avoid that threat, Seoul has to keep its capacity to attract citizens by having their everything that no one can find outside. I would say first, uh, health. Health is going to be a, a key condition for people to live. People would like to see, to be close to anything and many in hospitals. Second, uh, people could should found in a, a city like Seoul, everything round the corner. It is what it called the 15-minute uh, city, which means that everything should be uh, in position to be found in 50 minutes, 15 minutes, one five. A 15-minute city is a city which is a, a, um, a, a group or a subset of uh, areas where almost everything is uh, reachable in 15 minutes. Uh, every, everything means uh, food, education, schools, hospitals, theater, um, uh, parks, all has to be in 15 minutes. And then if, you, if you think of what Seoul, it's almost true, but it's not entirely true. And if you want people to keep and stay in the city, you have to create that evolution of a city uh, in order to have a, a, a group of uh, 15 minute cities uh, forming as a whole uh, the city of Seoul. Of course, uh, it has not to be for everything. There will be one uh, town hall, uh, one uh, major op opera house, opera theater, one major uh, district for business. Of course, everything has not to be in the same every, everywhere. But you have to recreate a positive environment as a village in a, in a, in a city in order to, for people to keep willing to stay in large cities uh, and not to move in, uh, in uh, the countryside. It's important also for the country as a whole, because the country needs a large city as a capital, and it's only in a large city that you can have serendipity, which means where you can have people who come back and forth and have ideas that they can exchange and find ways to have creativity. And for that, it's important to have not only a, a, a 15 minute city, but also places where people meet uh, by chance and can create uh, new ideas. Creativity is only found by meeting people that you don't know, by meeting new ideas. And therefore it's very important to create opportunity and occasion for people to meet uh, new uh, comers to meet people they don't know and not to stay within the, the, the same environment. It's why they need to have uh, coffees, uh, uh, parks, and create opportunities for people to meet uh, the people they don't know, for other social groups, for other classes. And that needs to be a, a new kind of uh, urban planning where people are uh, 
bound to go in places where they have not been. For instance, not only people will find everything within 15 minutes, but if they want to go theater, they have to go through districts they don't know in order to meet new people. Serendipity is a key for creativity. Creativity is a key for the future of a city and for Seoul, creation of technologies for serendipity would be fundamental. It's a, it's a matter of urban planning and positivity means also that. Development of the technology for uh, all the dimensions of positivity. That has also to be followed uh, regularly. In order to do that, <coughs> you need to have a master plan and I'm sure you have already, but the March plan to have a, a positive Seoul in 2035, a positive Seoul for 2035, I'd be happy to help to elaborate it, will be uh, very important. And in order to do that, you have to follow every line. And then you have also to, to do something which is important, which is to give the right to votes to next generations. I would advise for Seoul to create uh, next to the uh, uh, city uh, assembly, another assembly, which would be a council for next generations, which means a council which where people will be chosen in order to vote only thinking of what would think uh, people living in 30 years of what the decisions they take. They will not take decisions, but they will have a consultative voice in the, in the vote of the city uh, uh, bo uh, institutional bodies, and that will be a council for next generations that will give their views of the consequences of any decisions on the well-being of people which have not yet the right to vote because either they are very young or they are not even, even born. This council for next generation, which exists already in some cities in the world, uh, should have a lot of visibility and a lot of power in order to give his views on the decisions that have to be taken. <clears throat> you should also follow um, indexes, criteria to follow that in order to know what it will be in the future. Because in the future, I think the concept of smart cities will change. A smart city in the future will have to be a positive city. And to be smart, it will need to be positive. You cannot be smart if you are selfish. If you want to be really smart, you have to be altruistic. And it's what the uh, uh, pandemic has demonstrated. A real smart city is an altruistic city. A city which is altruistic for its citizens, helping citizens of different social classes, helping citizens of different generations, helping people of different groups, helping also uh, people which are uh, um, uh, living uh, animals and not only human beings and be in a, a, a peaceful relations with the environment, with the vegetables, with the trees, with the animals around, not only for humans. It's not, the city is not only something for uh, selfish and narcissistic uh, human beings of today. It's for the global environment and an example for the country. In that dimension, I think Seoul could be uh, uh, and stay a pioneer of the future uh, and develop positive technologies for positive cities. It will be more than digital. It will be, as I said, in many other technologies linked to uh, food, agriculture, hygiene, uh, relations with nature, relation with brain and neurosciences, which will be the core of the future developing many, many new uh, instruments such as holograms on maybe uh, in, the, in the longer term, um, telepathy, which will be an instrument of uh, evolution in one century. But after all, if you want to be smart, you have to think of uh, one century ahead. And I do believe that Seoul can be that, be young and younger even in 2100. I would be happy uh, if my words help and I would be happy to help more if uh, such uh, uh, idea is coming to you. Uh, Seoul 2035 is tomorrow and it's very urgent to begin to prepare it and to stay smartest than ever. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
서울 브랜드가 가진 가치를 잘 짚어주시고 더 나아가 미래에 대한 찬사까지 보내주셔서 감사합니다. 어, 질문을 하나 드리고 싶은데요. 이렇게 가치 있는 서울 브랜드가 보다 더 많은 세계인들로부터 사랑을 받을 수 있는 브랜드로 성장할 수 있는 방법을 제시해 주시겠습니까? I sold you the brand. I sold you is excellent. But if you want to see a brand becoming something iconic and worldwide spread, you have to do two things. One, you have to have a city itself becoming uh, iconic. And uh, New York is iconic because there are a lot of movies about New York, a lot of songs about New York, a lot of poems, books, etc. There is no such thing for Seoul. And as long as we don't have that environment, any brand cannot be enough. You need, therefore, to have a lot of work to promote Seoul image by movies, literature, songs, Instagram, and other aspects. A brand will not enough. The brand will be good and will foster that development if you use it with the word soul. The soul of soul is a, really the real brand you should focus. And I soul you, I soul you is good, but in order to develop and promote the soul of Seoul. The soul of Seoul should be really what is to be promoted in my view. And the logo and the brand I Seoul you is just a beginning of another step, which in my view should be the soul of Seoul.